had a lot of questions about fertilizer and fertilizer shortages. Um, so we just thought we'd come and bring you here to the, the compost piles. Probably not the most glamorous part of farming, but a very interesting component to what we do here on the ranch. Um, we have not put commercial fertilizers on um, these fields for, for a long time, uh, five years, I think. Um, we got a truck coming in here. Uh, Gary, he's hauling um, hog, hog waste out of Las Vegas. Um, so, um, what he's got in that trailer um, comes from Las Vegas Livestock out of Las Vegas. It's a, a pig farm down there that kind of does their business off of recycled foods and foods out of casinos and different stuff like that. But hog compost is high in phosphorus. I don't know if a lot of people know that, but hogs do not digest phosphorus. And so hog manure becomes an excellent source of phosphorus fertilizer. Cow manure is good in a lot of areas, but not super high in in. But alfalfa generates its own uh, nitrogen, and so its main uh, fertilizer that it needs is phosphorus. And so that's why we use the hog manure. Then we can blend it with the cow manure um, to get the other nutrients that we need. Now, we didn't originally just come out here trying to be organic or do organic fertilizers. But the reason we started on this is we felt like a lot of the commercial fertilizers that we were putting on uh, chemically, by the chemistry, uh, weren't very effective uh, because um, you have high pH in the soil. The chemistry lesson on that is you have more free O's and H's floating around and, and they bind with other things chemically and, and, and basically they can lock up um, your phosphoruses and your, your other things in the soil never get to the plant. These hog manures and stuff like that, they're already bound to each other in such a way, I don't know if you've ever heard the term chelated, but, but they are, they're bound to an organic molecule. It allows the plant to use it. And we kind of got onto that and we saw the results we wanted, so we stayed with it. So this pile here, it is a blend of the hog compost and the cow manure. As we turn it, uh, that moisture works um, aerobically in there to create heat. I mean, what I have in my hand right now is not too hot to hold, but it's warm. Um, and so we try to stir this enough that the heat keeps building and building in there, and the heat kills a lot of the weed seeds and other things that are negatives as far as doing this. The wood chips all co also come in that hot compost. All the lawn waste and the trimming chips and, and stuff like that are used as the bedding for the hog manure where we get this stuff from. Ultimately, in a lot of ways, it reduces the percentage of phosphorus in the per ton because it has so much wood and carbon. But in the long run, the carbon is an additive to the compost that's a positive. So if we pull soil samples on the farm, we know way basically we can know what they need like our soils have high pH um, some of their downside of them is they have a hard time having the water penetrate the soil and so most of the time the labs recommend gypsum but we use gypsum because we can just buy it in the bulk form and then we could just blend it into our compost ration uh, we generally don't have shortages because we're not dealing with commercial fertilizers however those shortages affect hog manure. That makes them harder to get because other farmers are now going into that source. What we're doing here is not for this year. It's not for this month. We're, this is next year's project already. Um, so we're stockpiling, we're mixing, we're creating the product that, that we'll use this fall and next spring. 